Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March, 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. And it starts early, right out of the gate, right around the fifth and sixth of the month. We've got a lot of activity taking place. So it starts with Mercury retrograde season and a new moon. Now, both of these are happening in the same part of the sky for you. It has to do with communication of all kinds. So we have Mercury retrograde in a part of the sky that has to do with communication. Well, the chances of miscommunications become that much more likely. Neptune is very active at this time. And so it is important to be mindful of where it is that you may be over promising or hearing something uh, more idealistically or in a way that you want. It's great to have hope. However, this is an energy you want to be a little bit careful with. This part of the sky is also connected to siblings, cousins, and neighbors. These people might be a little confusing. And again, miscommunications, misunderstandings are possible. I'm so sorry to say that. However, it is nothing that can't be worked through, especially by the time we get late into the month. This is also connected to agreements and contracts and documents are covered here. Now there is an exception, uh, and that is when you have an opportunity that you thought was lost or came around before and then went away. Well, it is those very opportunities to reach an agreement that could come back around again. And that is when you're using this energy to the best of your advantage. Now, I would also add, this is a great time to do things like re-edit, uh, contemplate more deeply what it is that you really want to say, what it is that you have to communicate. If you are a writer, this can be a phenomenal energy for you with this Mercury retrograde to go over uh, what it is that is a work in progress to make sure it is exactly what you want it to be and to add that extra element of imagination that can bring a touch of magic to what it is that you have to share. Now the new moon in this part of the sky is about new opportunities, new conversations and new news where it comes to these types of people that I mentioned. And so chances are you're going to be particularly busy in your neighborhood with your siblings, with your cousins and wanting to spend more time with them. Now the great thing with this new moon is it is happening hand in hand with Neptune but it is speaking in harmony with Saturn and Pluto in your sign also in harmony with Mars which is in a part of the sky this month that has to do with uh, feeling like you are aligning with a life that you are truly excited and passionate about living your passions more fully in more of your life this does suggest that there could be an opportunity that comes back around that can have you feeling as if uh, you are living a dream come true which is a wonderful way that this energy can bless you at this time now, if all of that wasn't enough, under the light of the new moon, we are also going to have the monumental move of Uranus changing signs. It was in the middle of last year that Uranus dipped into fellow Earth sign Taurus and then left as we moved later into the year. Well, now here we are. Uranus is moving back in for a nice long stay for the better part of the next seven years. So you are very much on a journey. I did do a Uranus special horoscope here on YouTube, and I will link to it in the description below. But having said that, it is Uranus now moving into this uh, part of the sky where Mars is already, which has to do with what it is that your heart truly desires in every area of life and feeling more creatively fulfilled. The fact that this is happening under the light of the new moon does suggest that in some way, the conversations, the communications, the agreements that you're reaching now, the a sense of synchronicity of being in the right place at the right time and running into the right person again, and it's again because it is Mercury retrograde, well, all of this ends up feeling like it is helping you to align with a life that feels that much more rewarding. And it can be at a time like this, where not only does it feel like you've touched on magic, that you've uh, had a dream come true, that's all that Neptune energy speaking to Saturn and Pluto in your sign, 
but also that in some way you've won, you've leaped forward in the best possible sense. And that is Uranus helping you out. As we move later into the month, we are going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is happening at the very top of your sky. And like the full moons recently, it is a full moon which represents culmination and fruition, things coming full circle. But it's at the very beginning of its respective sign. And so it means that with this sense of closure also comes a new beginning that you can feel really excited about and that feels filled with emotion. Considering this is happening at the very top of your sky, it speaks powerfully to matters of career and social standing and aligning with a sense of life purpose. And so this can be a time of some reward, possibly even accolade as well. It can be a time when you feel like you had a goal and you saw it through and you've achieved something that you can feel really proud of. But at the same time, you can see how this achievement with it brings new opportunities and you've already got a sense of what it is that you are now beginning. This can bring with it also a sense of a, a person in a position of authority, perhaps a boss leaving that can happen at this time or that relationship being illuminated in some way, but it ultimately allows you to feel as if you are set on a new path and a path that you truly do love. Where it comes to life purpose, this can be a time of great clarity, of great understanding of how it is that you've already been living in alignment with your purpose and how it is now that there are even new and amazing things that you have to look forward to. Where it comes to matters of love, I am brought back to Mars and Uranus because they are moving through a part of the sky that in addition to the things I mentioned, they also have to do with flirtation and romance and what it is that your heart truly desires. Well, it is gonna be romance and flirtation that ends up being a truly liberating experience for you now and in the years ahead. But at least now for Mars, uh, active this month in this part of the sky, and speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn in your sign, with Pluto in your sign, chances are there are going to be some very strong uh, and almost catalyst moments, if you will, where it is flirtation now that opens your heart and facilitates a transformative experience for you. If you are open to meeting someone new, it is very possible now that you could connect with someone where there really is long-term potential or they in some way leave a mark so that it uh, helps you and makes you better for a very long time to come. The thing of course is Mercury's retrograde. So sometimes what you get isn't necessarily what you're gonna get. <laughs> what you think it is, isn't what it turns out to be. And that really is okay, at least for now and in this moment. And if you strive to stay in the present moment, which is what Mars encourages us to do, then that is where the true power of the blessing of change that becomes that much more apparent to you. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this can be a very important time. It is some truth that is going to come out that really is Uranus. It's like a light comes on where it comes to someone that you are getting to know. You can decide what it is that you are going to do with it. But keep in mind with Mars, especially Mars speaking with Pluto right around the full moon that I mentioned that happens at the equinox around the 21st. Well, it is that conversation that is going to just have you be and feel uh, like a magnet to uh, some very intense and very sultry experiences. Uh, and I think that they're gonna be experiences that you really do love, that will have you feeling things very deeply. So whether that is with this person that you're getting to know, very possible, or whether that is with someone new, you will understand that there are options available to you where it comes to matters of love. For those of you in an established bond, what a powerful time it is of renewed commitment and fidelity, a sense of a deepening bond and a truly profound trust that is being facilitated now. And it is possible that some transformative moment between the two of you ends up being part of sweeping changes that speak to the bond that the two of you share and the direction in which you are going together. In some way, you are one of the signs who is going to experience some evolution 
where it comes to your established relationship. The relationship in some way has to change. It has to transform because you have changed. And where it is that your partner is willing to be a part of that journey with you, well, this is where the bond solidifies that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I love how imaginative you are. Uh, you will just have a way with words and thoughts and being able to put them together in a way that feels magical to you and to others. It'll allow you to think in new ways and in ways that end up benefiting so many different areas of life, personally and professionally at that. Yes, if something seems too good to be true, if it's showing itself to you and it's brand new and you never saw anything like this before, that's where you do wanna exercise a little bit of caution. But I think a much more likely scenario is that opportunities you thought were good and gone and lost are now gonna come back around in ways that feel truly rewarding. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.